سبيل الدموع سبيل مريح كان هدايا صاحي كي Mama, can you please tell me a bedtime story? A bedtime story? I'm sorry, son. It's too late now. Please. Only one time for... Okay, then only for two minutes. Yippee! Okay, then. So today I'm going to say the story of one of the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Umar bin al-Khattab, and how he died. So one time when Umar Raziyatala was leading the prayer, a man with a knife came and stabbed him and this caused him a hole in his stomach and he was lying there and he was bleeding because of this hole and the murderer ran away. But then when the azan for the next prayer came, he got up and the people were shocked. They were telling, what are you doing? You have a hole and you're bleeding. Why? How can you go to prayer at such a time? But then Umar said that the pro- he heard that the Prophet said the deen is incomplete without the prayer and the prayer is like the head in the body and I have to go now. So the moral of the story is that we have to pray no matter what happens and we have to always learn from the iman of the companions of the Prophet Can anyone tell me how we passed away? He was stabbed while he was leading the prayer. All right, he was stabbed while he was leading the prayer. The narration goes on to tell us that Umar has this big open wound. He had literally a hole in his stomach. And he's lying there and he's bleeding out and he's fading in and out of consciousness. And then while he's in that state and in that condition, he hears the call, the adhan for prayer. And he starts getting up. Everyone around him is like, oh, wait a second, where, where do you think you're going? He says, I have to go pray, the adhan. I have to. Go and pray, it's the Adhan. He said, you're dying. You have a hole in your stomach. What do you mean you're going to go pray? And he says that, I remember the Prophet ﷺ telling me that there's no deen for the one who doesn't pray. That the Salah is like the head and the body.